Hello guys welcome back to our YouTube channel. There are always lessons that can be learned from smart money. Unlike regular investors, billionaire money managers like Ray Dalio and Stan Druckenmiller are professional investors. They have entire institutional teams at their disposal, dive deep into the nuances and complexities of the market, and spend every waking moment of their lives thinking about how to get more from their investments. They want to make money, but they also want to execute strategies that will protect their wealth and build robust portfolios that can withstand any type of macro event. In recent months, some of these elite investors have turned to precious metals like gold as a part of their overall investment strategies. In the following infographic from Sprott Physical Bullion Trusts, we explain why these investors are adding precious metals to their portfolios, the underlying tactics, and the best quotes each investor has on assessing today's market. In this video we are talking about why billionaires are hoarding gold. But before we get into the video, make sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon to get the latest updates. 8 Reasons Why Billionaires Hoarding Gold Number 1. Gold Maintains Its Value Looking at past performance, gold has managed to maintain its value. Since ancient times, gold has been used in tools, technology, and as a symbol of wealth and class. Even today gold is used in everyday technology from phones to spacesuits. People hold on to this precious metal so they can pass it on to future generations so the family can preserve its wealth and legacy. Number 2. When the reserve currency loses its value, gold's price holds. When the US dollar decreases, the price of gold rises. Gold has been coined as a safe haven for this reason. As soon as the reserve currency drops, people start to flock to gold. Number 3. Hedge against inflation. Over the years our spending power has dropped along with the value of each dollar due to inflation. When the cost of living increases, so does the price of gold. For example, a cup of coffee has increased 636% over 49 years. Gold, unlike paper money, cannot be printed and therefore its supply is limited. When people lose faith in the government and fiat currency, they often turn to the asset that has been consistent in value for hundreds of years, and because of this, gold is deemed the ultimate hedge against inflation. Number 4. Crisis Commodity During Geopolitical Uncertainty During a global crisis, people turn to safety, which is often gold. Gold has been consistent, stable, and performed when there is uncertainty. When people lose confidence in the government, they also lose confidence in the currency since it is the government that regulates it. Gold is produced and created naturally by the earth, it has no political opinions or motives, so people find comfort in owning the precious metal. Number 5. Supply Constraints Savvy investors like to invest in gold mining companies because it is the only industry that can guarantee to sell all of their products. However, a new gold mining production can take 5 to 10 years to create, which limits supply due to its long time frame. Gold production has been slowing down since 2000. Most of the gold being sold and bought over the last few years has been from stores in central bank vaults. With the supply and demand curve, the supply is currently low and the demand is high. Number 6. Increasing Demand Emerging economies booming wealth is increasing the demand for gold as well as culture. China buys gold bars as their traditional form of savings in people from India buy gold during the wedding season. Number 7. Diversification The price of gold is often volatile but over time is consistent and maintains its value. Gold prices move in response to paper assets like stocks and bonds and are therefore included in a diversified portfolio as a form of insurance. The number one rule in investing is diversification which minimizes risk over the long term. Savvy investors even diversify within metals with silver, platinum, and palladium. Number 8. During deflation, gold's purchasing power soars. Deflation occurs when the overall level of prices in an economy falls while purchasing power of the currency increases. This can be triggered by either too much supply and not enough demand or by a drop in the supply of money and credit. During deflation, people tend to hoard cash instead of spending it, and during the Great Depression in 1930 we saw many do this with gold since it was the safest way to do so. While markets and the economy suffered during the Great Depression, gold prices soared. This shows that investing in gold is beneficial during both inflation and deflation scenarios. Here are four famous money managers who made bets on precious metals for different reasons. 
and what we can learn from each of them. Lord Jacob Rothschild Lord Jacob Rothschild is an investment banker and member of the prominent Rothschild banking family. Rothschild recently said that central bankers are continuing the greatest experiment in monetary policy in the history of the world and that investors should focus on preserving wealth. Recently, Rothschild announced changes to the RIT Partners portfolio because he was worried about very low interest rates, negative yields, and quantitative easing, saying they are part of the greatest monetary experiment in monetary policy in the history of the world. His solution? Buy gold to help preserve wealth and as a store of value for the future. He said, we are therefore in uncharted waters and it is impossible to predict the unintended consequences of very low interest rates, with some 30% of global government debt at negative yields, combined with quantitative easing on a massive scale. David Einhorn David Einhorn is founder of Greenlight Capital, a hedge fund known for shorting Lehman prior to its collapse in 2008. Einhorn has a similar assessment. He believes that monetary policy is becoming increasingly adventurous, and that this, along with the policies of the U.S. administration, will eventually lead to large amounts of inflation. Recently, he shorted sovereigns and bought gold. He said, we believe the increasingly adventurous monetary policy is bullish for gold. Ray Dalio Ray Dalio is the founder of the world's top hedge fund, Bridgewater Associates, but he's also no stranger to gold. He believed if you don't own gold, you know neither history nor economics. More recently, Dalio is quoted as telling investors to own a well-diversified portfolio that is 5 to 10% gold. He said, we have a situation now where when you have too much debt. Too much debt leads to the printing of money to make it easier to service. So all of those things mean that some portion of an investment portfolio should be in gold. Stanley Druckenmiller Stanley Druckenmiller is the former chairman and president of Duquesne Capital, which he founded in 1981. Druckenmiller, some people argue, is the best money manager of all time. Lately, he's placed his bets on gold as well, but for different reasons than the other managers. Druckenmiller has always placed big trades with lots of conviction, and a few years back he put his money in gold because no country wants its currency to strengthen. He said, I have always made big concentrated investments. I don't believe in diversification. I don't believe that's the way to make money. Whether you are working with billions or thousands of dollars, precious metals such as gold can benefit portfolios in the same way. That's all there is for today. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Please leave us with your valuable feedback if you found this video interesting. Stay tuned to our channel till the next video, and until then, see you soon.